on Coles and has scored twice. The game comes by Tiggy and pulls in and scores! Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from Future Consideration and today we'll take a closer look at 2019 NHL draft top prospect Vasily Podkolzin. The Russian winger is one of the biggest risers and most controversial prospects this season as some believe he's the best prospect behind Hughes and Kako while others firmly think he should not be considered for the top 10 or even top 20. A big reason behind this problem is Paul Cousin's poor club stats. He might have dominated the Linka Gretzky and showcased some incredible skills at the World Junior Championship, but he is having a very difficult season statistically in Russia. His 0.66 points per game in the MHL is very disappointing if you compare it to past U18 production. Personally, I don't think judging a prospect of his stats alone is very fair, as it doesn't tell you the whole story. So to answer the question on everyone's mind, let's take a closer look at Paul Cousin's play and check out every aspect of his game. That means his skating, shooting, passing, stick handling, defensive play, physicality, hockey IQ and competitiveness. Before jumping in the scouting report, let me just remember you that everything I'll see in this video is only based on my personal opinion and viewings. Don't hesitate to share your opinion down in the comments below. Let's start with the skating. Podkosen has a good acceleration and an above average top speed that allows him to create multiple control zone entries and rushes. He loves to get to full speed in the neutral zone to overtake the defenseman by passing him on the wing. He might not have the best top speed, but with a combination of incredible skills and a motor like he has, he gets to the net pretty much every time. Strong edges and great agility too. Will he be able to reproduce those rushes at the NHL level? I believe so, because he already seems to have some decent results at the KHL level. But others are more septic. I will give him 4 stars for his skating. Let's pass to his shooting. Podkosen has one of the best shots of the draft. He has both an incredible slap shot and wrister. He can get into scoring position so effectively and he has the ability to get behind the defenseman and get completely forgotten. He loves to use his quick hands to create space for his shot and his quick release helps him get dangerous opportunities. I would give Podkosen 5 stars. Let's now look at his passing. Despite often having the head down, Podkosen opens the play frequently and with his incredible vision and offensive instinct, he finds teammates seamlessly without necessarily looking at them. He loves to use the defenseman to open the play or attract the opponent on him and slide the puck aside to an open teammate. If he's primarily a goal scorer, I think he has some pretty underrated playmaking abilities as he creates many scoring chances for his teammate. That said, those assists are often created with the help of his puck skills and hockey IQ, not necessarily with his passing and vision. I will give him 4 stars. Let's now discuss about his stick and link. Podkosen has some filthy mitts and some of the best ends among his draft class. He uses quick reaction to create space for himself to get a shot to the net in rushes. Nobody is able to split the defense and score allied real goals like him. The Russian winger also loves to use his skills to create control zone entries and install his team comfortably in the offensive zone. He's able to pass pretty much anyone at his will and he's always buzzing in the offensive zone with flashy but yet seamless stick and link. Whenever he seems to be beaten, or at least in a tough situation, he can pull himself out with incredible moves. In breakaway, Polkosen is almost unbeatable. His flashy and quick hands are just too good for the opposing goalie. He easily gets 5 stars for his puck skills. Let's now look at his defensive play. Podkosen's competitiveness and aggressivity helps him defend very well rushes and backcheck with intensity. With his active stick and good strength, he actually blocks a few rushes by himself. He puts effort to defend and is ready to do anything to help his team. As a result, he often gets shifts on the penalty kill and in important defensive situations. Although he occasionally cheats on breakout, he most of the time takes an active part of the zone exit, putting his good speed and vision at use. He was actually pretty impressive in face-off when he played as a center at the Linka Gretzky, but I definitely prefer him on the right wing. I would give him 4 stars. 
let's pass to his physicality. Vasily Polkosin is 6 foot 1 and weighs 190 pounds according to Elite Prospect. The Russian forward might not be the biggest player, but his motor and intensity makes him one hell of a force on the ice. He protects his puck so well and he loves to cut to the net to create opportunities in front. Good luck trying to take away the puck from him when he decides he wants to keep it. Any players who is in his way will simply get wrecked. He fights hard in board battles and even win most of them. That said, like every player, he is not perfect and can be outmatched physically. I will give him 4 stars. Let's discuss about his hockey IQ. Podkosen understands the game and adapts to his opponent well. When he doesn't like what he sees in front of him, he never hesitates to simply get the puck back to his defense. His decision making in those instances is just so seamless. He loves to open the play to get himself in the back of the defense and get dangerous scoring chance. He also loves to move around the zone to make the opposing defense and goalie need to adjust to every move. His offensive instincts are great. I will give him 5 stars for his hockey IQ. Let's finish by looking at his competitiveness. If it wasn't for Pitt and Krebs, I would say Paul Cousin is the most intense and competitive prospect of this draft. He loves to take the puck and just make his way to the net whether or not there is a defenseman ready to destroy him. Not the fastest, nor the more physical, but his intensity alone makes him so tough to stop. When he wants, he's almost unstoppable. Good luck trying to take away the puck when he puts effort to protect it. He backchecks hard and puts effort defensively. He blocks shots and puts his body at risk to stop the opponent. In the offensive zone, the Russian forward is always the first on loose pucks. You might outmatch Polkosen physically, but you will never outwork him. For example, on this play, Polkosen loses the puck but still comes back defensively to work over his mistake. On this other play, he passes in front but the puck goes to the opponent. He still puts the extra effort to recover the puck and keep buzzing in the offensive zone. Polkosen is not afraid of anything and wants the puck more than anyone. He easily gets 5 stars for his competitiveness. Overall, Podkosen is a very complete forward with an elite shot, stick handling, hockey IQ and competitiveness. To me, even with poor club stats, such a dominant prospect can be leave out of the top 5. Future consideration has him at the third spot, just behind Hughes and Kako. And although there is some pretty good prospect in the same tier as him, I think it's a pretty fair ranking. He's a very polarizing prospect. So I would love to hear what you think on the Russian winger. Is he a top 3 top 5 prospect or am I wrong and he shouldn't be even considered for the top 10? Anyway, subscribe for more NHL draft related videos and click here to watch my previous scouting report on 2019 eligible. I'll see you for the next one. Here now, here I come, you can't hide. Ready or not, here I come, you can't hide.